Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and we are here at the conference championship versus number 25, Boise State. So hit that like button. We are on the road for this championship game, and we are on the blue turf versus a very good Boise State team. You can see they are 10 and 2 on the year, 8 and 0 in conference, undefeated and they have the number four defense in the nation and this is gonna be a good one as this might be a defensive game as we head into this matchup so looking at their leaders they are led by senior quarterback jalen henderson not too many touchdowns thrown they are a rushing team he's got nine touchdowns to six interceptions but he is a runner 83 speed and he's not really a thrower with 82 throw power but they do have a strong running back in Alexander Madison. He's ran over 1,000 yards, 15 touchdowns off of almost 200 carries. Looking at the receivers, not really anything there. But their defense is really well-rounded. Look at it. I mean, everybody contributes on tackles. You can see how many solo tackles, assisted tackles that they have, and tackles for loss. I mean, you can see they have at least four guys with over 10 tackles for loss. And then they have everybody in the sack game. As you can just see, the versatility of this defense led by Kiko Nawahain. So he's going to be on the defensive back uh, side of the field he's gonna be that deep guy that free safety and he's gonna be lurking and we gotta watch out for him on offense so here we go let's hop into this action Boise does start out with the ball at home and they have the home field advantage in this championship game so here's the first pass out to Madison and he gets about a gain of six on that one as he is gonna be the guy that's getting the ball the most I expect so now here's Henderson scrambling out to the left side this time. Can't find anything, and he gets sacked. Ka Cameron Alexander gets the sack, and man, is he a big part of this D-line. He has taken over for Trey, uh, and I just think that, you know, he's a big part of this defensive line. And speaking of big parts, Terrence Miller comes up with the sack, so two sacks on the opening drive as we force the punt. So here is Jamal Taylor, the true freshman, back to receive the punt. He's the freshman. All American, probably I'd say, at returner, and he picks up a big gain to start out this next drive. So here's Trey Walker starting it out with a nine yard reception across the middle as we move the ball to the 30. So now on a second and one, counter out to the left side. Here's Amore Ziegler putting a move on the cornerback, but can't get around the safety. There's actually uh, now a high in there, and he picks up a gain of 10. So now on a first and 10 at the 25 yard line, quick throw across the middle. That's Trey Walker taking a big hit, but holding on to that ball as that's a first down inside the 10. So now on a first and goal, here's Ziegler getting to the outside on the left and picks up only a gain of five as he moves it inside the five now. So second and goal, here's Aaron throwing across the middle. He's gonna have Trey Walker in the back of the end zone. Five yards for a touchdown, keeping his feet in bounds and nice way to start out this game a three and out on defense and a nice drive on offense and we take the lead 7-0 to start out this championship game so here we are back out on defense here first and 10 from the 25 yard line here is madison getting the carry up the middle and he's breaking free and he's getting past the 50 breaking a tackle from jonathan leonard jr and he gets a 50 yard gain to start out the next drive what a run as that's his first carry of the game. I'm surprised they didn't give it to him at all on the first drive, but it pays off here on the second. So here's Alexander Madison getting the five-yard carry on the next one, making it a third and two. So here he is. No, that's actually Andrew Van Buren, but taking a huge hit from Ethan Aguayo on that one. Take another look, just laying him out and forcing the field goal. So now with the 7-3 lead, here is Montel Aaron back out onto the field, scrambling out to the right side, not picking up a gain of anything, really, as they get the stop there on defense. That's Boise State. So now third and 10, play action fake, throwing out to the right side. That's Bailey Gaither on the sideline, gain of 17 and a first down. So now here, close to the 45-yard line, second and six, quick throw across the middle. That's Zamore Ziegler. He's getting open on the angle route for eight yards, and he's moving the chains. 
So now past the 50 yard line, here is Montel Aaron this time in the shotgun, moving the pocket to the left, gonna throw out that way, gonna find Ziegler again, and he's picking up a gain of 14, and that's a first down again. So Montel Aaron's throwing the ball pretty well to start out this game. So now here in the shotgun, here on the second and eight, scrambling out to the right side, slinging the ball to the right, and that's Bailey Gaither, the senior, in his final game in conference play as a senior, he gets the first down. So now here's Trey Walker getting the carry to the left side on the jet sweep, but he stopped in the backfield for a loss of two. So second and 12 from the shotgun, quick throw across the middle. That's Matt Pollard, the freshman, and he picks up a facing a third and four now. So now here's Aaron from the shotgun once again, run, running out to the right side, gonna try to avoid a tackler, and he's gonna get smacked on that one. And wow, did he meet the corner on that one as he just got straight destroyed and that's what Mountain West football is all about we haven't played Boise State yet but they are showing up early on defense as it's now a 10 to 3 game so now here is Henderson under center this time gonna try to scramble out avoids a sack from Andre Armstead somehow and picks up the first down I don't know how Andre Armstead did not get the sack on that one but he was right there so now after the first down, here is a draw play to Madison. Madison's getting up field for a gain of eight as he's hard to take down. Takes three guys to tackle him. So now in a play action fake, throwing out to the left side. There's Madison again, and he's picking up another gain of 16 as he's been their whole offense so far. So first and 10 at about the 35-yard line. Another handoff to Madison. He's getting free to the right side in the cutback lane and he's picking up a big gain of about 20 as it's now first and 10 at the 20 yard line. Another handoff, this time to Van Buren who's also an impact player. Bruh. He runs over a defender and gets into the end zone for the touchdown. That's actually James Will Smith just gets ran over and destroyed on that one as this is his first year of playing time. He hasn't really seen the field too much. I thought I was going to get him some playing time but Honestly, Trey Webb has just been balling out so many guys on the defense that are playing pretty good to start out this season. I didn't really, you know, I didn't really want to get him out there when my defense was playing good. So now on a third and eight, here is a throw out to the right side. Can't get it to the slot receiver on that one. And that's a punt. So now in a 10 to 10 game, here is Henderson back out on the field with a chance to take the lead, handing it off to Madison for four yards that time. So he's at 86 yards off of six carries already so here's Henderson trying to scramble out this time he's gonna get tackled almost sacked but he stopped that time by Cameron Alexander and that's actually gonna be a long field goal try here for Boise State and that's gonna be one way short as here is Jamal Taylor back to receive the field goal but he can't break free as I don't know what we were thinking on that we could have had some pretty good field position so now after the missed field goal here in a 10 to 10 game here's a quick throw across the middle here about two minutes left, and that's 15 yards to Carl Wolf. So now first and 10, throw out to the right side. That's Billy Humphreys getting a catch, and he's picking up eight as it's now moved to two minutes left in this half. So now from the shotgun, second and two at the 35, throwing the ball across the middle. That's Bailey Gaither, who's had a pretty good half so far, and that's a gain of 12. He's got 70 yards receiving. So now at about the 45-yard line on the opponent's side of the field, here is Ziegler getting a carry up the middle for seven yards as we got to try to run this clock as well. We don't want to give them a possession. You know that's probably been the Achilles heel of this team, letting teams score late in the half, late in games. So now first and 10 set up at the 25-yard line. Here's Montel Aaron, quick throw over the middle. That's Trey Walker. He gets a block. He's going to get around the edge, and he's diving in for the touchdown. 25 yards and look at Montel Aaron's half 15 for 18 two touchdowns and Trey Walker does the rest with his legs he picks it up from 25 yards out and that is a 17 to 10 lead now so now here's Henderson back out onto the field trying to get some points on the board but he gets smacked by Jesse Ozuna the two seniors are just balling out this year Jesse Ozuna probably one of the most underrated guys on our defense but that's the way to set the tone going into halftime and we're gonna have the 17 to 10 lead so now to start the second half really we want to get this run game going but honestly we're throwing the ball so well 
that we could just keep throwing it here. So now starting it out from the shotgun to Trey Walker for 17 yards on the right side. And Trey Walker just can't be guarded as that's another first down for him. So now a second and seven. Here is Montel Aaron scrambling out to the right side. This time going to have nobody to throw it to. But there's Bailey Gaither. He gets open across the middle of the field. And that's a gain of 26 as he's almost at 100 yards. So now first and 10. Handoff up the middle. There's the Moore Ziegler picking up four yards on that one. So now we're at the 25. So quick throw across the middle on a second and six. There's Bailey Gaither again. That puts him over 100 with that catch. And now we are in cruise control here as we are driving on this drive here. Jamal Taylor getting the six-yard reception across the middle. He's getting ready for some more playing time next year as he picks up six. So now on a third and four, here's a handoff to the right side. And that's a first down by Zamor Ziegler now inside the five. So now first and goal. Here is Mato Aaron having nobody to throw it to. They send pressure up the middle. So he's rolling out to the left. And he's going to go in untouched, diving into the end zone. Touchdown from two yards out. And that's a 14-point lead here in the Mountain West Conference championship game. So now, here's Henderson back out onto the field. First play, that. pump fake to the screen. Throwing the ball deep, and that's picked off by Nehemiah Shelton, the junior. As, man, what was that? I don't know what Henderson saw on that, but he just overthrew the receiver by a mile. And that's an easy interception by Nehemiah Shelton. So now we take back over here. Here's Montel Aaron at the 50-yard line, scrambling out to the right side. He can't get anything on that. He's actually going to get a sack on that, get credited with the sack the defensive lineman is. So now we get it to a third and eight. Here, throw out to the right side. That's going to be incomplete as that interception doesn't even turn out to be anything as we have to punt the ball right back to Boise State. So now here's Boise on the next possession, trying to give the ball to Madison, but getting smacked that time by Isaac Tagia. So now third and six. Here is Henderson from the shock. I'm going to throw the ball across the middle to Butler. And Ach Achillean Butler is going to hold on to that one for seven yards and a first down. So now screenplay out to the right side on a second down. That's actually to Madison. And that's going to be knocked out of his hands as they now have another third and six. So now here's Madison on the screen pass to the left side this time. And that's going to be a loss of two tackled by Jonathan Leonard. So now we do get another punt in this game. Up two scores. Here's Matt Pollard getting the reception across the middle. And that's a gain of 16 as this passing game just is just on fire this game. So now here is Ziegler getting the handoff to the right side, but he cuts it back to the left, picking up seven yards on the sideline that time. And now we get it to a minute left in the third quarter. Handoff to Tyler Nevins, and he's getting a big hole up the middle. And that's a nine-yard gain and a first down. So we do sub Josh Love in in the Wildcat package here from the shotgun. Here he is scrambling up the middle, and he's picking up six yards. It's nice to see the senior getting some playing time here in the conference championship. So now on a second and four, throwing out to the right side. Here is Tyler Nevins picking up a gain of five, and that's enough for a first. So now first and ten from about the 25. Throw out to the right side. That's Billy Humphreys. He almost gets in for the touchdown but gets tackled at the two. But we are set up nicely here on a first and goal to start the fourth. Hand off to the left. No, it's a keeper to Montel Aaron. He gets into the end zone. And that's two rushing touchdowns, two throwing touchdowns, as he makes it now a 21-point lead. So now on the ensuing kickoff, here is Hightower back to receive the kick. And he just runs through the middle. And he's going to be gone to open up the fourth quarter and that's a touchdown and just like that we thought they were out of the game down three scores but a kick return is a good way to not waste any time and get points on the board quickly and now it's back to a two score lead so now here on a third and seven here is Monto Aaron back on the next drive getting a completion on the sideline that time to Billy Humphreys the junior as that's a first down so now here on a second and eight, running a Wildcat to the left side. Here's Ziegler getting a lot of room to the left side. And you know he's got the home run speed, and he is going to be gone. 61 yards. Take another look. There was nobody on the left side of the defense, and Ziegler just runs that way. I mean, it's a no-brainer. That's a touchdown. And, wow, we just like that, we take the 21 lead right back. So now here is Henderson back out onto the field, throwing the ball across the middle. And look at this, he's only got 35 yards passing in the fourth quarter. So now here's Madison getting the handoff up the middle, and that's a gain of nothing, that's a tackle 
by Ethan Aguayo. Wow, is he having himself a great season. So now third and 12. Here is Henderson throwing the ball deep this time. He's got a man, but Trey White's going to be there for the interception. And that's some great coverage by the sophomore taking over halfway through the season, probably more than halfway. I think it was the last three games he ended up starting. And he gets another interception, making it three on the season. So now on a first and 10 on the next drive, up 21 points. And we're getting the ball to Carl Wolf there that time for 11 yards. So you can notice that Josh Love is in the game. We decide to sit our starters here, but we throw out to the left side and that's an interception. But it really, really doesn't matter. A minute left in the game. Josh Love just getting him some playing time. He turns the ball over, but it's just a little too late for this Boise State team as they try to just put together some yards and put together some drives, but they just were not able to do it as Ferguson or Henderson is just not even doing anything. He's got 30-something yards gotcha, passing. Bitch. And on the final play, he gets sacked, and that is all she wrote. We take this game in the Mountain West Conference Championship, and you know this is just a sweet vi victory. I mean, look at this. I mean, we straight dominated. That's a ranked team we just played, the number four ranked defense in the nation, and we just did not allow them to do anything on offense, and we pretty much destroyed their defense as what a victory this was. And, man, I think it's something to say that their quarterback only had less than 40 yards passing. I mean, that is insane, and that just shows you why you need to have both sides of the ball, and it just didn't work out in the end. They got this far with defense, but it just doesn't work for San Jose State. We capture our first conference championship here in this dynasty, and it's a good victory as Montel Aaron just was on his game. Two touchdowns, 80% completion percentage, and it's just amazing. Two on the ground, two through the air. He's player of the game, no doubt. Zamor Ziegler ran for 127 too in his final conference game, and that's a way to uh, remember your year here at San Jose State. So then Bailey Gaither also, another senior, goes over 100 yards receiving. He doesn't get in the end zone, but T Trey Walker actually gets two touchdowns as well. And honestly, we really didn't give up any sacks. That one sack was a loss of nothing. So I'd say our offensive line did a pretty good job this entire year. And then Trey White, I can't say enough. He had an interception in this game, and Isaac Tagia had six tackles. He led the way, and this was just a really good victory for, from this defense and this offense. I mean, it was both sides of the ball dominated. And you can see the defense, 526 on offense, but look at our defense, 159 yards given up. That is just an amazing performance, two turnovers as well. And that's the way to capture a conference championship. So we're going into this bowl season. Hopefully we do move up a little bit in the rankings. We're ranked number 13 now, but we'll see after beating unranked team. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. You don't want to miss the bowl action coming up, so stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.